I saw a recent tweet where, about uh, Chester Bennington, where uh, it's just an image of him smiling, and mm-hmm. you had posted uh, that you are uh, suspicious of his suicide, mm-hmm. and he was uh, probably murdered, and it was not a suicide. Yeah, do you mm-hmm. mind elaborating on that? Yeah, dude. Uh, so uh, this is again coming from this documentary I saw, Fall of Cabal, uh, back in 2020. Right, they had had many parts. And it just made me question uh, where, again, his death and uh, his, again, the stories about his father as well, who was a Democrat. Uh, his name is uh, Joe something, who basically looks totally identical to Chester, right? And he's a very known pedophile in that circle, uh, the political circle. And he's also like one of those pimps itself that kind of provides kids and stuff. Let me check his name. Uh, John Podesta, one second. John Podesta. John, yeah, John Podesta. Right? Yeah, if you can kind of, if you want to Google his picture as well, you would think that he looks like Chester. Right? Uh, and uh, yeah, so it was said in the documentary that John Podesta kind of uh, abused Chester during his childhood and stuff. And Chester had like this past as well. Uh, Chester died uh, very mysteriously. And his friend also died in a similar way, who was the lead singer of Soundgarden. I don't know. And audio slave, uh, Chris Cornell. Chris Cornell. And they both died in a similar fashion. Again, I would recommend people to kind of find that documentary, Fall of Cabal. And there are different parts. It came out quite well, but now they would be able to make sense to it as well. A lot of these, uh, again, Justin Bieber's Pedo Gate was also good documentaries. Like, this is again something I saw back in 2020 when I was just waking up and uh, all of my emotions were going haywire. I'm like, dude, this is crazy, you know. Suddenly seeing all these things, your entire worldview shift. And uh, and yeah, I would cry during the night. I needed a spiritual practice dude, to kind of protect me. I was, um, you know, uh, chanting Hare Krishna and stuff during night, 2 a.m. I'm looking at these things. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so these two people kind of died in a similar fashion in those days difference. Uh, and uh, Avishi as well, the famous DJ, I didn't listen to much of his songs and stuff. Uh, later is when I kind of listened. And he's, I think his last music video as well, where he's talking about child trafficking, right? Where uh, uh, the entire music video is based upon that, right? Mm-hmm. And again, Justin Bieber's video as well, if you watch it in slow motion, which is uh, uh, Where Are You Now, I think, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, in that music video or some other music video, I'm not sure. Uh, mm-hmm. And also some other, I'm not a Justin Bieber fan, never been, but I know uh, of certain videos that he made again where he's like, he's talking about pedophilia, the entire thing. Then he came out as well, I think, a video session where he was crying. This was a, all of these stuff can be found on which shoot, I, I think, now or some other YouTube or some other you know, alternative video platforms. I'm, I'm pretty sure people try to look uh, deeper. Uh, yeah, Vishy as well. He was also kind of coming out. He was making those videos. And when these people kind of go public, prominent figures, and you've kind of done extensive stuff on Sushant Singh Rajput as well. And this is when I was kind of waking up. And interestingly, dude, I was getting, uh, there was this message out on that day itself when he died about this entire thing. Right? That, that day itself, which was so public and uh, for, from people who stay in Mumbai. And uh, I'm like, okay, why is this person messaging, forwarding it? Right? Because he's like so in and in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the industry. So it, it was kind of crazy. So it kind of all makes sense, man. And uh, now I'm like totally normal to it, like emotionally. Uh, early on, when you kind of get into that space, you're like in denial, right? But then as you kind of keep going deeper, like then your paradigm shifts, it's it's emotionally triggering for you. And then you come to that acceptance of how you perceive the world to be. It's nothing like that. 